MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. Andrea, new facility here, tell me more about it. Well, it's new but we've been here eight years now surprisingly, it doesn't feel like it, um, but every year it feels new because we keep introducing all of the new technology, so keeping on investing, trying to make sure that we can keep up with the demands of the engineering industry now. Well, I've known you guys for some 20 years, uh, so with that in mind, uh, you know, I, I think this facility is fantastic, but also you've got some new additions I see downstairs. Yes, uh, two new borers are our most recent additions, um, although since you've last visited, there's also an extra CNC honing machine, another CNC lathe, and the dynamic balancing machine. So there's probably five or six since the last time you were here. <laughs> so with regards to some, some of the capacity, does that allow you to actually offer more capacity to the industry because obviously the size of uh, what you had before restricted you? Yeah, it's more about the actual technology that we've bought now. Um, the two new borers, the main reason that we chose them in particular is in the past we sometimes struggled to compete with the guys doing the very large boring because they yeah. could basically hit a 200 diameter hole in one hit. We had to try and drill it three or four times to actually achieve 200 mil diameter. So it's difficult to be competitive. The machines that we bought now, A, the way that the chuck and the holding assembly is, we don't need to prep the billet, so it frees up around about 20% capacity on the CNC lathes. Yeah. But also, we can actually drill 200 mil solids in one hit. So not only are we saving on tooling time, but also energy efficiency, and making at least 30% more capacity on the deep hole boring. Um, and with some of the um, sectors that you work in, is it still sort of oil and gas, motorsport? Yeah, or, uh, to be fair, very little motorsport these days. Um, much more oil and gas, hydraulics and construction side. Um, we're also doing an awful lot with the aerospace industry, um, but they tend to be more longer running contracts. And with the spare capacity, is there any specific sector that you're actually aiming for to, to actually gain some more business? Um, we're always looking at gaining business from every sector, uh, but the oil and gas industry is definitely probably the one that would benefit most from the investment that we've just made. The dynamic balancing machine that's been bought for us to target roller manufacturers. Um, and although we're starting really with the converting industry at the moment, because that's where the previous customer base was for the business that we've purchased, really we can expand that into all industries and I'm hoping to look more at the print industry which is the smaller side because obviously our capacities range from 2 mil diameter up to 240 mil diameter um, from lengths 100 mil long all the way through to 3.4 meters long so it doesn't tie us to just one specific industry any tubular component we can basically manufacture and I suppose the benefit to you is obviously if one sector is down, the other's up, you know, it gives you that sort of not eggs in one basket, I suppose. That's what one hopes. <laughs> yeah. Andrea, obviously down on the shop floor now. Tivo B250. Yep. Very big machine. Any, anywhere else in the country that has one? No, this is the first one in the UK, so and the first B80 as well. So we're very proud to have got them in, and now we're just looking forward to the extra capacity that they're going to offer to us and our customers. So with this machine in the facility now, it gives you the opportunity of being more precision in reference to what you offer. Yeah, I mean, we've always specialised in the high precision end. We're working to microns on a daily basis, regardless of the ball size. but. For us, it's more about expanding what we do, getting better at what we do, and making sure we can provide the service that's requested of us. So with the investment of two new machines, what's next? Basically, to just maximise the opportunities that the business acquisition has given us, the two new borers, and keep on getting better at what we do. 
the testimonials that we have from customers, people they enjoy dealing with us, they like to actually bring their work here, they know that they're getting great quality, great service and from a friendly team and we just want to keep that going. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.